I wanted to show you a video of the new enclosure I made for my skeleton geckos. Um, got it set up with a new Zilla hide up there on the left hand corner. There's a little panel you can take off the back so you can see what's going on inside the hide. It also has a lid on the top that you can remove if you want the um, hide lower in the enclosure and you want access to it. Be a great lay box for certain reptiles. Of course, for the skeleton geckos, they don't um, use a hide to lay eggs in. They will stick them to the glass and I'll show you right here. They've been in here for about a week and they have decided they really like it so they're still uh, laying eggs everywhere. <laughs> so this is also a new water fountain from Zilla. It is awesome. I love that it shows blue at night so it's kind of like a moonlight. It's um, like a cavern so it helps hold the humidity in there so it's kind of like a hide in the enclosure where they can go into to either a you know be in the water to run around or swim. They can drink from it. Um, it's very sturdy so it's not going to tip. has a little built-in cup in the top if you want to use it for food or for maybe a calcium dish although I already have a calcium dish with an egg on it because one egg hatched out just the other day. We're waiting for other baby to emerge. Uh, this isn't normally going to be in here, but I left it because there's a couple of eggs inside. So apparently uh, my skeleton geckos are very happy because they are constantly making babies. But it's very nice little enclosure for them and they seem to be really enjoying it. So I just wanted to share it with everyone how easy it is. It's not necessarily inexpensive, but this will last for a very long time. We have some nice live plants in there. Um, it's very enjoyable, it's very quiet, and it's very pleasant to look at.